today we are going to create some snowmen from Snowman at Night with a twist. So you're going to pick out your paper color and the colors will not be black because in Snowman at Night the sky was never black. And write your name with a crayon please and your class and flip it over. We're going to create your snowman with chalk and we're going to make the balls of the snowman look like spheres by using something called value. Value is where you have lights and darks on an object, it makes it look like lights hitting it, and it also makes it look 3D. So instead of being flat circles, they will be round spheres. So you will have a piece of paper. You are going to pick a side, either your left side or your right side. And you're going to make part of a circle and make it large. And if you mess up and want it to be bigger, just draw the line again, no big deal. Then we're going to take your piece of chalk and going to use the side and lightly follow this curve But I'm not coloring in the whole thing. I'm coloring in part of it with the white. Just make sure you're being very, very neat. Then we're using your finger as your blending tool. I'm going to start up here on the curve and then work my way forwards. And see how I'm doing it in the curve shape. I'm trying my very best to blend the color. If you think your white doesn't come down far enough, you can always lightly add in a little more and blend the color. Now for snowball number two. I'm going to start here, make a curve so it's not a complete circle, and repeat what we did on the first. So I'm coloring white along the edge, and then we fade it out a little bit. Still following a curve. Finger blend in a rainbow shape. One more time for your head. Got a round ball. Add the white. And since this one's small, you may have to use the tip of your chalk instead. And blend. Now we have chalk buildup. Do not blow this at anyone. Pick up your project, scoot it to the side a little bit, tap. That will knock the chalk off. If you're working with your snowman and you accidentally made all your purple disappear, the good news is we can take an eraser and erase a little bit so we can see some purple. The purple is our shadow, the white is our highlight, and this is what makes it look like a sphere. On my head, I added a little bit of extra white to it. That way the whole face isn't covered in shadow. There's still some purple there showing, which is a good thing to have. Our next task is we are going to use oil pastels. Only yours will be in the giant tray that we have. And you're going to add details. But because your snowman is in a different position, it's like we're laying on the ground looking up at your snowman. The face will not be in a normal place. So my eyes are going to go up high. My mouth is going to be up high. And a lot of the times the snowman and snowman and I are laughing. So I'm going to use a different color for my mouth so it's open and since we're using oil pastel you want to color it in very well and the nose that is important the nose we add a little curve here it's kind of between the eyes and it's going to stick up so my nose is a pickle, maybe your nose is a carrot, maybe your nose is a banana. You decide what your nose will be, but it's going to go up. Then your hat.
your arms. Your snowman can be doing something fun. And it doesn't have to have stick hands. It could have mittens. You're adding buttons or anything to your snowman because his head is far away from us. The buttons down low will be big. Buttons going up will get smaller. If you add a scarf or anything to it, try to curve it with your snowman. So it looks like he's actually wearing it. If you have time and you want to have fun with it, you could always add a little snowman friend photo bombing the picture. You just make the top of its head. So you draw part of a circle, blend like we did before, and give it a little face. <laughs>